This is Propagator. You're welcome. And now, live via satellite, we've got science news with Chad Hartwick on location. How you doing, Chad? Pretty good, Paul. I've got an exciting story for all you comet lovers out there. Okay, give it to me. Well, I'm at the Lars von Trier's International Space Observatory in Bielefeld, Germany, where in just two short hours, Braden's Comet will be reaching its lowest point. That means that with the naked eye, you'll be seeing vibrant reds and vibrant blues as the comet passes by for the first time in 500 years. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, well, I'm really happy for you. No, that's great. Yeah, it, it is, and um, well, <laughs> you're obviously very excited, Chad. <laughs> well, a little bit. I think you might be excited too, if you're really geeking out. <laughs> you're a bit of a science geek loser, aren't you? Sorry? Aren't you, you're a bit of a, a science geek loser. I thought, sorry, I thought you said science uh, geek loser. How would you say that? Why don't you say that with me? I'm a science geek loser. That is what you're saying. Say it. No. I'm a bit of a science geek loser. Say it. No, Paul. Say it. No. Say it. I'm a science geek. Say it. I'm a science geek loser. I'm, <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Chad. Uh, that was just a segue, a perfect segue, mind you. Uh, next week, I've got a, a four part special on bullying. It's going to be really interesting from my perspective. I was a bully. Uh, a remorseless bully. I've never seen the damage I wrought as a child. <clears throat> you know, we're gonna find out. You're gonna tune in, Chad? Yeah, I know you're gonna tune in. You're gonna, yes. I'm just doing that thing again. I'm... The bullying thing. Don't, you look upset. Yeah, you make me feel really bad about myself. I still got it, huh? Maybe you shouldn't have it anymore. Lonely, enter the day tricks. Hi. My name is Miles, and I'm an editor for the Propagative Redaction Department. My hobbies include and long walks on the. If any of these interest you, please. Me at. Thank you. Propagator. Hello, food imagineers. Welcome to Recipe for Success. As always, I'm your host, Betty Lee. I know we're all very busy, so let's get right to it, shall we? Lately, we've been talking a lot about the many cutting edge foods available today. Products engineered to give us everything we need without all the hassle of prep and cleanup, but everyone needs something different now and then. So I'm gonna show you food combinations that you may never have thought of. Today, we're gonna try something my mother used to call a salad. Industrial food experts say that at the current rate, our planet will need to grow as much food in the next 50 years as we did in the past 10,000 years combined. Luckily, Monsanto's best scientists are developing improved seeds that grow big and strong in any climate. Rugged crops that resist bacteria, rodents, and communists. This produce can be shipped for thousands of miles and still stay fresh thanks to the miracle of modern packaging. Doesn't that look good? It wasn't that easy. Zero prep and minimal cleanup. And that's all for today, sweet audience. Please stay tuned to Propagator for more other stuff. Bye bye In Zoom Zoom News... For years, the Mazda Motor Corporation has boasted that they defy convention. All new Mazda 6 defy convention. Today, this claim was officially verified by the United Nations. With a report suggesting that the conditions at the company's Asian prison factories defy the Geneva Conventions. In other news, the makers of White Oak brand Correction Fluter are facing some criticism themselves for their latest marketing campaign featuring the catchphrase, White Makes Right. I'm Chris Walters, and that's enough news for you.